Welcome to EMS Office Hour and the Monday Minutes. These are your EMS quick study tips. Today, we're going to talk about abdominal emergencies. This is part one of two and some main issues. But before we do that, I always like to talk about why this stuff is important. And of course, these are key elements, what you will see on your EMS exams. Uh, so it's important to know that for this reason, but it's also important and good to know this stuff for your patient care, your clinical assessments, right? In addition to that, guys, this is great for your documentation and also when you interact with other EMS professionals. So talking about abdominal emergencies and acute abdomen, you know, it's hard to make a field diagnosis in the field. Um, not necessarily necessary for you to do that and probably impossible, right? But we still have to know it. So what are some of the solid organs? Well, we've got our liver, the spleen, the pancreas, your kidneys, your ovaries. Um, our hollow organs consist of the stomach, the intestines, gallbladder, your urinary bladder, even the uterus and the utera, right? So review your abdominal quadrants, guys, in your book, in your A&P sections, or even in the previous quick study guide videos that we did early on. So injury to solid organs, your main concern with this would be bleeding, right? You can bleed out, especially things like your spleen or your liver. Injury to your hollow organs, you have to worry about issues like peritonitis, okay? Those are the key things there. So common causes of acute Abdomen, things like bacterial contamination, we get infection of the bowel or peritonitis, um, chemical irritation, like leakage of blood or bile into like the wrong space, um, peritoneal inflammation, and that could be bacterial or chemical, even trauma, and bleeding, you know, solid organ laceration, you can, you can, abdominal cavity can hold about 1,500 milliliters of blood before you even see any distension. Four life-threatening causes that you might see for acute abdomen, especially in the EMS field. Well, the main ones are acute MI, you know, myocardial infarction, or your AAA, your abdominal aortic aneurysm. Two other ones you want to look for, guys, are that ectopic pregnancy, that ruptured ectopic pregnancy, especially women between the ages of 12 and 50, and a ruptured viscous especially of any hollow organs. So what are some of the key assessment findings when you're looking at patients, right? Well, you're going to have that localized or diffuse pain. Abdominal organs really have receptors for pressure, not necessarily for pain, but you're going to see pain for other reasons that are going on with that, right? So look at the general appearance of your patient. Do they have tenderness to the abdomen, guarding, even rebound tenderness, if you know how to do that, or pulsating masses for that triple A we talked about. And what about management or treatment? Well, a lot of it is, is pretty much supportive for us in the field. Um, things like your airway, things like giving oxygen, putting the patient in a position of comfort, um, starting an IV if you need for fluid, right, the bleeding, and of course the God for vomiting because we're talking about the abdomen here, right? Um, other things are doing EKG, guys. Consider that MI we talked about, right? And of course, like I mentioned earlier, guys, monitor your patient and transport to the appropriate facility. Okay, that's it for me for today anyway. Hope you've enjoyed these Monday Minutes. Hope you can use them in your day-to-day -day EMS activities and on your exams. Go ahead and contact me with some minutes of your own. I'd love to hear what you want to see what you want to kind of review here on the Monday Minutes, even beyond the EMS quick study tips. Contact me. It's contact at emsofficehours.com. And don't forget to follow me on social media as well. Get in touch with me there, guys. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. Everything's at EMS Safe.